Students have to do so much through the course of a day. They are asked to wake up before they want to, sit through classes they can't stand, and care immensely about schoolwork that only affects their life for a brief window of time. Students take work home to finally have peace and quiet and spend hours of their day at dinner tables, office desks, or sitting in their room working on schoolwork. Sometimes they are able to get work done at school, using fragile seconds between lessons, fleeting moments between a teacher's lecture, or their own passing period to get caught up, only to stay afloat like a buoy on rough seas. But after that 325 bell, some students manage to make time for creativity, for passion, to let the pent-up harmonies within them flow outward into the universe for themselves and others to enjoy. Some build time into their day to decompress, to stop being a student and make time to be a creator, a fixer, a musician, or an artist. The creators are the ones who see a recipe and can taste their individuality. They're the ones who see a pile of sawdust as the mark of a job well done. They create joy in the deepest parts of themselves as they see others admire their work. They sparkle with their creations that adorn their neck, a platter bedecked with tasty treats, or their homes filled with their creations. Surrounding them are artifacts of their vision that hearken to Renaissance men, women, and the oldest foundations of creativity. Fixers are nature's handymen who help keep the world spinning. They find joy and solace in wires connecting, electricity running, and bolts coming together. They're the one you call when you're stuck on the side of the road. They help leave the situation with a smile and a token of advice and move on their merry way to the next task to accomplish, their next Everest to climb, their next piece of history to restore. That deep breath a musician draws in before releasing their inner harmonies is akin to the first breath a baby draws. It's the beginning of creation. It's the start of beauty. It's the start of a song. The chords flow out from fingertips, reeds, or the mouthpiece of creativity. She flows about the room enticing not just those who can read her secret language, but can appreciate the harmonies, cadences, and melodies of a song well sung. The artist is one who views a canvas not as a daunting task, but as an exciting new adventure, who sees the world different than left-brainers, where they see streets and cars, artists see colors, tone, forms, and shadows. Their minds are constantly running between ideas, muses, and epiphanies. Their fingers itch to sketch, paint, or mold. A simple idea is their next masterpiece. They create for themselves and reveal their souls through their art. How can we see beyond the homework to the creative soul that lies beneath?